G'day guys, welcome to Canva. Today I'm going to be doing another Canva design tutorial. This design is on trend so I can't wait to share it with you. Once I worked out how to do it I was so excited. So a retro groovy warp wave design. I'm going to show you how to do it in Canva. I will just say I have Canva Pro. I think it's essential. You can get the first month free. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. So for in Canva, I have just got it set for Amazon merch, which is 4,500 by 5,400. So first you want to hit T and that is for text. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Poodle Mama. And then you want to come over here and the retro niche is nectarine. But this doesn't matter. But if you had an eye, as you can see over there, the eye has got a dot on it. If you just come over here, you can make sure everything is capitalized. So we're going to do poodle and I think we're going to do it three times. So command C, command V, command V. Space. Space. Okay, now, first off, that just looks like too big a gap, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to adjust the line just so it looks like it's a little bit more together. That looks pretty good. And then letter spacing. With this, I do like to have a little bit of space. So I'm just going to go roughly about 20 and then let's just bring it up here. Okay, so the other awesome thing about Canva is if you have a colour palette that you like, and one of the places I like to get them from is coolers.co. So you can have a look what other people are liking, get ideas, and then what I do, let's go with something really bright and cheerful. I just screenshot it like that. Then I'm going to go back in here go to uploads and you can just drag and drop if you want okay so once you've got it there um, what you can do if you like the color scheme is just click here okay and then I'm gonna change the colors so I'm gonna go here then I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna click this little magic tool which will identify the color and place it where you want it so then I just repeat that Now, before I discovered this tool, I was literally just looking down here for the photo colors to see what was kind of popping up. And you can actually do palettes, like Canva has some palettes as well. So there's in the blue, which I've used before. Um, and you can just type in what you're looking for. So are we looking for, maybe we'll go retro. There's different options. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, <laughs> you don't have to watch me go, is I'm just gonna, continue with what I'm doing here and then I'm going to show you how I do the outline and then I'm going to show you how I get the wave okay now what I wanted to just show you there is I've decided I'm not going to do the three with this one I'm just going to keep it like this once you put the colors in once then over here on document colors they'll just be sitting there so it's not as time consuming as you think it would be and then sometimes I'll make this bigger as well but I'm happy with that like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it I'm going to give it a transparent background and I'm just going to do the first one the next step is I'm going to upload it again. And because I upload it, it is seen as an image. So, so then I grab it from there and click edit image, click on shadows and for shadows, you can do glow, drop, angle, curved, page lift or backdrop. I like to do glow. Now with glow, it'll automatically show it in black, but you can adjust the controls. So I don't like any blur. I like hundred percent transparency and size wise, I tend to go around five just because it's nice and subtle. Now, another color that works really well, and it might not necessarily for these colors, but if you want a more subtle border, then you could do like a brown or something like that. For this one, let's just stick with the black, and then we apply that. And there we go, it's done. Then I just like to make it a little bit bigger. It helps me in the future. And then I'm just going to download it. Now, the site that you need that is also free is called Photopea. So I've got it up here on the top. Okay, 
So if you click on Photopea, I just go open from computer, you can drop it there as well. And then click open, and then it comes in here. So to do this, what you need to do is go to edit, go to transform, click on warp. Then if you come over here to style, you can see there's none. Now there are so many cool options here, guys. So um, you could do it like as an arc. Um, you can do it as kind of more, you can do it more of like a shield, poodle mama, um, an upper arc, they call the other option. Um, you can make it bold. I've seen people on Etsy that have kind of made the word in a heart. They don't have this option here. Um, there's a shell. All right, flag is one that I like to do, but that is really over the top. So if you just come over here for a more subtle to type you could click like 20 and then I just click here I don't say it oh ooh. <laughs> 200 whoopsie so I just click here and then that's kind of subtle um I don't click the tick button until I'm 100% happy then if I wanted to go to wave which is super popular see that's 20% um you get to decide what kind of bend you want that's 50% we could make it vertical <laughs> None of it goes in. Um, but you can really play around with the percentages to get what you like. So for this one, I'm actually going to go with wave, but I'm going to bring it back a bit. Let's go 30%. No, let's go 20%. So it's just a little bit. Then let's tick, happy. Then I go export as PNG. It comes to here and I click save and there we go so if I wanted to put it on a shirt so then I upload it back into Canva click on it bring it over here adjust it to what size it's kind of going to be on the person I like to turn down the transparency and there we have it like how awesome is that that is how I do waves flags warp style retro prints retro designs break. I use Canva and Photopea to create retro designs. Thanks, thanks for watching guys. Bye.